Mrs. Allen is on time, yes. <laughs> uh, we will have to call this to order and we'll have the Pledge of Allegiance by T.R. <clears throat> We're going to take some photos this morning. We'd like to recognize, recognize the 2018 IAPD Best of the Best Awards recipients. Volunteer of the Year, our very own Mary Austin Slager, and a 20 year service pin for our very own Commissioner Barbara Winnicki. So, you want to read that? Yeah, so if I could have. So if we could have Mary and Barb join me up here at the podium, President Kenyon's gonna make his way over here too. Uh, every year, the Illinois Association of Park Districts uh, has a wonderful gala where we have the opportunity to recognize the best of the best um, in our state and in conservation, forest preserves, and recreation agencies. And uh, we did put in this year for a Volunteer of the Year Award for Mary Oshenslager, and uh, she won, which is, was very exciting for us, and also, IAPD recognizes our service awards for our commissioners who um, so graciously volunteer a lot of their time, as you know, for special events and um, just the, the work that needs to be done to run our agencies. So what I'd like to do is just read a couple things. Um, for, for Mary O, we put in um, the following narrative. It says, Mary Oshenslager, or Mary O, as she's affectionately known, has been a leading voice for conservation, preservation, and restoration of Kane County County's natural areas for more than 40 years. She consistently uses her time, her talents, and her voice to support the Forest Preserve District of Kane County. She, has, she was a volunteer for the Forest Preserve District for many years, even before there was a formal volunteer program. Officially, for the past 11 years, she has served as the district's volunteer steward at Bliss Woods Forest Preserve. Each month, she leads three-hour restoration workdays at Bliss Woods to improve it for the people who visit and the plants and the wildlife that call it home. Mario's ability to teach while at the same time motivate others is nothing short of spectacular. She truly uses the woodlands, eskers, and prairies at Bliss Woods as a classroom to convey her passion for all things nature. Mario has also championed the Forest Preserve District of Kane County during four successful referenda campaigns, garnering over $240 million for land acquisition and preserve improvements over the last 19 years. In total, her volunteer contributions to the Forest Preserve District of Kane County are unparalleled. So we are so grateful to have Mary O as one of our leading volunteers and congratulate her on this prestigious award. And another award this year goes to Barbara Winnicki for her 20 years of outstanding service as a Forest Preserve Commissioner. Now this is something that really should not be um, underscored simply because 20 years of service is amazing. When you really think of the elections that have to go through, the accomplishments that have to be um, 
completed in order for somebody to be able to have 20 years of service for a governmental entity. Barb additionally has served almost ever on every single committee that the Forest Preserve has had. Some that don't even exist anymore. We used to have a communications committee that she graciously served on. Um, but again, to be able to say 20 years of service and, and to be able to serve on so many different committees to us is just amazing. So I'm going to read this certificate that was presented to Barb at the gala. It says, Certificate of Appreciation, be it known to all persons that the Illinois Association of Park Districts did duly present to Barbara Winnicki 20-year board member service anniversary award. This Certificate of Appreciation and recognition of outstanding contributions, community leadership, and service to advance parks, recreation, and conservation in the state of Illinois as a member of the Forest Preserve Distri District of Kane County uh, presented on the 12th day of October 2018 by AAPD. Congratulations, Barb. I'd just like to say thank you all for your support of the volunteer program. We think we uh, contribute a lot, but we couldn't do it without your support and your staff. They're great. They give us a lot of uh, help. They give us a lot of opportunities to train and are so welcoming. So thank you. And I'm not really very unique. You have a lot of volunteers out there that do a lot more than I do. So I'm just representing what they do. Thank you. And I'd just like to say I'm very humbled by these awards. Uh, Illinois Association of Park Districts is a phenomenal organization um, serving so many families in the state of Illinois. And of course, the Kane County Forest Preserve is near and dear to my heart because I'm a, a, a really strong um, supporter of open space, as you know, because I live in Campton Township. And, uh, and we have ourselves uh, over 1,500 acres of open space that Campton and Township had purchased. Um, and now with the Forest Preserve, and uh, I'm very proud that I voted the last 20, 20 years, we have over 22,000 acres of Forest Preserve in the Kane County Forest Preserve. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. Today we also have seven graduates, those are the outgoing commissioners. Don Ismail served four years, Kurt Kajarik six years, T.R. Smith eight years. It just doesn't seem like eight, T.R. It seemed like it was only yesterday. <laughs> Ron Ford, nine years, Maggie Auger, eight years, Becky Gillum, eight years, and Philip Lewis, 12 years. And Monica's going to read their plaques. Right. After uh, the meeting, we're going to do a big group picture. But what I'd like to do is read your plaque and have you come up and receive that and present that to you uh, right now. So uh, the first individual we have is Don Ishmael in recognition of four years of service and dedication to the citizens of Kane County as part of the Forest Preserve Commission. As a commissioner, he served on the following Forest Preserve District Standing Committees. He was a member of the Finance and Administrative uh, Committee. And Kurt Kajarek, if, uh, Kurt, if you could come up. Um, as a commissioner, he served on the Land Acquisition Committee. And we have a picture of uh, Burnage Forest Preserve on his plaque. But we'd like to thank you for your six years of service. And TR. TR is being recognized for his eight years of service on the board. And as a commissioner, he was a representative on the Executive Committee, Land Acquisition Committee, and the Planning and Utilization Committee. Which one did we put up there? Which is that? Freeman Kane. Freeman Kane Forest Preserve. Uh, and the next individual is Ron Ford, senior, in recognition of nine years of service. 
on the commission. He served on the executive committee, the finance administrative committee as the chair, and the planning and utilization committee. We wanted to make sure we recognize Ron again because his nine years of service also considered the previous years of service that he had. And we have a beautiful picture of Oakhurst Forest Preserve on your... Our next uh, award it goes to Margaret Auger. Uh, Maggie has served eight years on the commission and she was a member of the executive committee, the chair of the land acquisition committee, and a member of the planning and utilization committee. And on her plaque we have a picture of the Bruner Family Forest Preserve. And next we have Rebecca Gillum. Becky also served eight years on the commission, and she was a standing member on executive committee, land acquisition committee, and the finance administration committee, and goes off as the chair for the planning and utilization committee. And on her plaque, we have a picture of the Fox River Forested Fen. Okay, and last we have a plaque for Commissioner Philip Lewis. Phil served for 12 years on the board and he has been a member on the Community Affairs Committee, Executive Committee, Finance and Administration Committee, Land Acquisition Committee, and Planning and Utilization Committee. And he goes off the board as our current secretary of the board. And the picture on your plaque is for Leroy Oaks Forest Preserve. And again, at the end of the meeting, we'll take a big group picture. Oh, Ishmael, please come forward. Um, Don, we're presenting you a plaque today for your four years of service on the board uh, with the Forest Preserve Commission and um, your participation on the Finance and Administration Committee. And the picture on your plaque is for Oakhurst Forest Preserve. My, my peers. Good. Thank Go you. Ahead. Thank you. Um, I am. Thank you. I, I'm really going to miss those of you that are leaving us, um, and not just because, in my biased and very humble opinion, many of you vote the right way, um, <laughs> <laughs> but you've all become friends, and you've all just made this such a balance, um, and you've represented everyone diligently, and I've learned, I've grown so much in, in my years here, and, and it's been because of each and every one of you, so you will be very, very missed by me personally, and I'm sure for, by the board in general, so thank you for indulging me, Mr. Thank Chairman. Thank you very much. I love you too, TR. Maybe TR will move to Aurora so you can be closer. I get the feeling. I, I get the feeling Mr. Smith and I will <laughs> will definitely hang out once in a while. <laughs> that will be the 2018 2018 yes. progress report for the 2017 land acquisition and preserved implement improvement referendum. Okay, so we wanted to um, update everybody on our land acquisition progress. So I've got a um, short presentation for you. Uh, just a real quick recap of what the referendum was. Um, it was really good timing uh, because of savings due to sound financial management, bond payoffs, refinancings. Uh, we had the opportunity to both add acreage and make preserve improvements while still providing a tax decrease. Um, it'll be paid off after 20 years and 80% of the $50 million general ob obligation bonds went to land act or will go to land acquisition. Um, and then the other roughly 20% will go to capital preserve improvements. Uh, none of these go to anything but those two items. So land acquisition. The strategy was we would grow preserves. Um, we would increase flood control and water protection, preserve wildlife habitat and natural areas, uh, improve our trails, expand recreation and nature education opportunities, and leverage those dollars um, with grants to maximize return. So that was the thinking um, when we went into buying land. 
and the first investment we made was um, in addition to Sour Family Prairie Cane Forest Preserve in Elburn, 71, just over 71 acres. And on the map you'll see um, the green was the original preserve and the red is the addition. <coughs> Thanks, Tracy. Next, and these are in order of the purchases, the first purchase at the preserves. Uh, Cardinal Creek Forest Preserve in Hampshire, we've made two acquisitions um, for a combined 133 acre addition. We have not named this forest preserve yet in Big Rock, but it's a combined three acquisitions for 85 acres. In Binney Forest Preserve to the north, uh, we've had two acquisitions for 84 additional acres. We've had four acquisitions for Muirhead Springs Forest Preserve. Um, we've added on 325 acres to this preserve and we're gonna create wetlands there. At Oakhurst to the south, we've added 4.6 acres. At Johnson's Mound, there've been two acquisitions for a combined 261 acres. Uh, there's a preserve in St. Charles we've not yet named. This was the donation from um, Mr. Edwards. This is near Meisner Corn and it's just over 25 acres. At Bowes Creek Woods, we've added 114 acres to the northwest. Um, we've made two acquisitions uh, for Leroy Oaks Forest Preserve for a combined 22 acre addition. The Chicago Premium Outlets Wetland has finally been turned over to us. That's a 75 acre addition. At Big Rock Forest Preserve, there are 86 new acres to the southeast. For Fearson Creek, we've had two acquisitions for a combined 77 acres. At Raceway Woods in Carpentersville, we've added seven acres. Fox River Shores in Carpentersville, we've had three acquisitions. The larger one is to the south, um, up at the very top center. I don't know if you can see it right there. There's another addition of a half an acre for combined 86 acres. And at Glenwood Park Forest Preserve in Batavia, we've added six additional acres. So by the numbers, I'll put together and um, don't worry, I will have press releases out for you afterward with all of this. Uh, prior to the referendum, we had 20,819 acres. To that, we've added almost 1,500 acres, which brings our total as of the first of the month to 22,284 acres. 13 preserves have been expanded, and we have three entirely new preserves. And of our um, land acquisition dollars, we've invested over $19 million to date. Mm -hmm. So that's the land acquisition portion. And then just a couple really quick um, updates on preserve improvements. Uh, trail connectivity was one of our goals and every acquisition helps in this regard, whether it be internal trails or connecting to regional trails. Um, we are working on the redesign of Oakhurst Forest Preserve in Aurora and plans have been submitted for a grant uh, for this project. Um, and then we're working on installation of new or updated boat kayak canoe launches, um, that's part of the redesign of Oakhurst, and then Buffalo Park is next up on that list. And then finally, our natural area enhancements. Um, the Helmwoods uh, reforestation project is underway. Um, it was bid in the fall. Uh, for Dick Young Forest Preserve habitat revitalization, we are working with uh, the Wetlands Initiative and using their expertise to create bid specs. Um, the RFQs will be let in the spring and we're also working with them on new wetland habitat at Pingree Grove. So we've been, you've all been very busy. And that's it for my quick update. Again, I'll have information posted on our website and press releases out um, following this meeting. Thank you very much. Appreciate the update and now we'll move on to the rest of the program. <coughs> Presentation and approval of the minutes for October 9th. Moved by, moved by Mr. Ishmael and seconded by Kirk Kajar. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same time. They're approved. Presentation and approval of bills, commissioners per diem for October 2018. Moved by Mr. Kajar, seconded by Maggie Walker. Is there any discussion on these? This will be a roll call vote. Auger? Yes. Barrero? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Davenport? Yes. 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 Yes.
Travis? Yes. Ford? Yes. Fries? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Fernandez? Yes. O'Shea? Yes. Ishmael? Yes. Zarek? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Sanchez? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Starrett? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Wegman? Yes. Winicky? Yes. Stands approved. Thank you. Uh, now that we're going into bids and proposals, under 2681 resolution authorizing structural removal at Virgil, Hampshire, Needham Woods, and Brewster Creek. Who would like to move that? Mr. Ford? Mr. Ford would like to move. <coughs> Mr. Mr. Ford served on our committee to look at these and decide whether anything was worth saving. So I thought he should introduce this. Is there a discussion, Mr. Smith? I'll OK. Anything else? Roll call vote. Allen? Uh, Auger? Yes. Barrero? Yes. Davis? Yes. Ford? Yes. Fries? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. O'Shea? Yes. Ishmael? Yes. Zarek? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Sanchez? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Starrett? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Wegman? Yes. Winicky? Yes. Stands approved under ordinances 0548, an ordinance of the Board of Commissioners for the 4th Reserve District of Kane County, Kane County, Illinois, for the levy of taxes for the physical year beginning July 1, 2019, and ending June 30, 2020. Mr. Lewis Mose? Mrs. Allen seconds. Is there discussion on this? We're ready to vote. Allen? Aye. Auger? Yes. Ferrero? Yes. Davis? Yes. Ford? Yes. Fries? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. O'Shea? Yes. Ishmael? Yes. Kazarek? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Sanchez? Yes. Silva? Starrett? No. Thomas? No. Wegman? No. Winicky? Yes. Stands approved. 0549, an ordinance of the Board of Commissioners for the 4th Reserve District of Kane County, Kane County, Illinois, for the levy of taxes for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019, ending June 30th, 2020, to the Illinois Municipal Retirement Fund. Mr. Hoshite moves, Mr. Frost seconds. Ready to vote? Okay, roll call. Allen? Aye. Auger? Yes. Barrero? Yes. Davis? Yes. Ford? Yes. Frost? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. O'Shea? Yes. Ishmael? Yes. Bizarre? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Sanchez? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Starrett? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Wegman? Yes. Winicky? Yes. Stands approved. 0550, an ordinance of the Board of Commissioners for the Forest Reserve District of Kane County, Kane County, Illinois, for the levy of taxes for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019 and ending June 30th, 2020 for the Construction and Development Fund. Becky Gillum moves, Mr. Ford seconds. Any discussion? We're ready to vote. Allen? Aye. Auger? Yes. Barrero? Yes. Davis? Yes. Ford? Yes. Fraz? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. O'Shea? Yes. Ishmael? Yes. Zarek? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Sanchez? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Starrett? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Wegman? Yes. Winicky? Yes. Stands approved. 0551, an ordinance of the Board of Commissioners for the Forest Reserve District, Kane County, Kane County, Illinois for the levy of taxes for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2019 and ending June 
30th, 2020, for the Insurance Liability Fund. <laughs> Mr. Leonard, fellow strangers. Mr. Leonard moves the insurance. Second by Mayor Molina. Mr. Leonard uh, is our insurance uh, advisor on the board. Ready to vote. Allen? Aye. Auger? Yes. Barrero? Yes. Davis? Yes. Ford? Yes. Fraz? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. Oshite? Yes. Ishmael? Yes. Azarek? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Sanchez? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Starrett? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Wegman? Yes. Winicky? Yes. Stands approved. 0552. An ordinance of the Board of Commissioners for the Forest Reserve District of Kane County, Kane County, Illinois, for the levy of taxes for the physical year beginning July 1, 2019, and ending June 30th, 2020, for the Social Security Fund. Margaret Auger was that. Maggie Auger, sorry. No second? Mr. Ford seconds. Any discussion? We're ready to vote. Allen, Auger, yes. Ferrero, yes. Davis, yes. Ford, yes. Fraz, yes. Gillum, yes. Hernandez, yes. Oshite, yes. Ishmael, yes. Gazarek, yes. Leonard, yes. Lewis, yes. Martin, yes. Molina, <laughs> Sanchez, yes. Silva, yes. Smith, yes. Starrett, yes. Thomas, yes. Wegman, yes. Manicki. Yes. To prove under land acquisition, 2682 resolution accepting, accepting land gifts from Karen E. Sinet adjacent to the Burnage Forest Preserve. Would somebody like to move? Margaret Auger will move that. She's been seconded by Becky Gillum. We're ready to vote. Allen? Aye. Auger? Yes. Barrero? Yes. Davis? Yes. Ford? Yes. Fraz? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. Oshite? Yes. Ishmael? Yes. Pizarro? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Sanchez? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Starrett? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Wegman? Yes. Winicky? Yes. Stands approved. Um, resolution 2683. Resolution authorizing the delegates to vote on matters presented during the Ella Association of Park Districts annual meeting in January 2019. Moved by Mr. Davis, seconded by Debbie Allen. You guys are not going to like this, it's just a voice for oh. All in favor say aye. Aye. Full same sign. Actually, I like hearing you read because it keeps you occupied. <laughs> <laughs> She's got all these cheap seats for me, otherwise I wouldn't be able to do it. Are there communications? Do we have a communication? No? Huh? Mr. DeVelst? Uh, just a quick comment, having just quoted on the, uh, the tax level. Just a reminder that uh, under the stewardship that you have collectively all you know, given here, the Forest Reserve District has continued to keep its promise and vote to its obligations, and the amount, the tax amount going out to the public has continued to go down, including this year. Congratulations. Sir. Sure. Sir? I think a lot of that is very of our finding the lecture for the for the job duties. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We've gotten four or five awards for the work Ken and his staff. Now we hope we get a big deer this year. <laughs> um, Mr. Hoshay. I just uh, want to thank uh, Lori for making the presentation today about the progress uh, for the referendum. You know, our success in our referendum campaigns has been garnering public support, but also reporting back to the public uh, that we carried out what we said we were going to carry out. And so this is really phase one of that process. When we fully invest the funds from the referendum, we'll be back with our uh, a full progress report, which really is a, I mean, it's it's pretty, I, I appreciate the presentation because we work so hard acquiring the property, but we don't take the time to uh, look at the uh, progress we've made. So 
uh, it's important that we communicate this to our constituents so they know that their money is being invested wisely. Thank you very much. Is there any other comments? Mr. Lewis. Thanks, sir. Just wanted to. Uh, All right, I prepared a few comments since this is my last official Forest Preserve meeting, and I actually wrote them down so I don't mess them up here, okay? <laughs> so anyway, um, just wanted to address all of you and thank you for the opportunity to say how proud I have been to represent my, my neighbors living in St. Charles and Geneva as their commissioner and uh, treasurer of King County Forest Preserve. It has truly been an honor. I am pleased to have worked with my fellow commissioners uh, on many significant projects that uh, will endure for generations to come. And I speak to the Forest Preserve District. Uh, you are a high quality and high performance public organization. Uh, to participate in and contribute to the decisions of this body has been gratifying to me. I appreciate the thoughtfulness and courtesy I have always been extended by Forest Preserve staff and my fellow commissioners. Uh, we have collectively achieved a decade plus of prosperity and accomplishment. Our work benefits every citizen Kane County. The Kane County Forest Preserve District is outstanding. Let's do what we can now and in the future to keep it that way. Thank you. Would anybody else like to speak? Oh, Margaret. Maggie Auger. She said Margaret makes her sound too old. And, and I, I, didn't, I didn't prepare anything, but I just want to thank staff and all my fellow commissioners for all the work that we've done together for the Forest Preserve. This is an awesome group, and I'm so glad to have had the opportunity to work with all of you. Thank you. Um, that on the President's comments, I'm supposed to remind you there's a conservation foundation dinner tonight and our very own Valerie Blaine is the speaker. And you know, nobody said anything about employee recognition, so. Yeah, and Mr. Smith, I hope you would take honors then. There's an ugly sweater contest. I'm sure you have one. <laughs> Yeah, bring his bring gifts for TR. <laughs> Next, we have department reports. Would somebody like to move? We put them on file. Mr. Frost moves. Mr. Davis seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, oh, same sign. <clears throat> Is there anything else to come before this body? The chair recognizes T.R. Smith. I would make a motion to adjourn. Mrs. Smith moves to adjourn. Becky Gillen seconds. All in favor say aye. 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 We were just hoping you would. Yeah. So we're going to take pictures with everyone with their plaques here in the center. So we've got the Forest Preserve logo in the background. Okay, well let's get this picture real quick.